credibility. How do you display credibility on your landing page? And it's pretty straightforward. So there's not a lot I can talk on. Um, so what are some ways to display credibility? It's pretty straightforward, right? So in Goodsy, I used um, a lot of the quotes that we've gotten from certain press, just the logo and, and a quote, an interesting quote um, from this. And this displays a lot of credibility. Time Magazine has a lot of credibility. Mashable has a lot of credibility. Business Insider. And you can see I just grabbed um, a lot of other people kind of do the same thing. Um, the other one from Twitter, this one, Chris Saka, who's just a, 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 an amazing investor. And he said, you know, this optimizely increases conversion by 49% on a $250 million site. That's a big endorsement. Um, so that says a lot of credibility. Um, here's, here, you can see they're almost all the same. Um, I really like if you look in the bottom left corner, how Kissmetrics does it, and it says, join these great companies by signing up today. Uh, a great call to action, very specific. And it talks each uh, customer success. And these are people that are actually using the product, not just people who have written about it. It's one thing to just write about it. For people who have actually used it, that's even more credibility. Um, there's another technique. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about it, but you can, you can use quotes or facts from established sources that may not even be using your product. So you can say Coca-Cola, you have a survey app, let's say. You could say Coca-Cola uses surveys to find out what their customers want. We offer an easy way to service or to survey your own customers. So Coca-Cola is not really a client of yours, but Coca-Cola understands the value of surveys and you provide surveys. So, you know, take what you will from that one. Now let's apply.